welcome back again to the channel everyone. Today we'll be turning down the newly redesigned JBL Clip 4. According to JBL, the Clip 4 was available in November, but I was not able to locate one until mid-December. I put the order in as soon as I saw one, and it arrived at my doorstep within a few days. So without further ado, let's turn down to the JBL Clip 4. The Clip 4 comes in a very similar packaging as the Clip 3, as far as for the design and the dimension of the box. So let's go ahead and see what's in there. Inside this compartment, we have the USB-C charging cable, which measures about 13 inches long. Here we have three documentations that come with the speaker. And here we have the JBL Clip 4. The speaker measures 5.3 inches tall and 3.4 inches wide, with a depth of 1.8 inches. So the Clip 4 is about the same size as a Clip 3. The Clip 4 weighed about half a pound, making the speaker easy to carry around and clip onto your bags. It has an impressive new design with the bold JBL logo in the front and the strip grip pad on the back. It also has a USB port instead of the micro USB port that the previous Clip 3 has. Overall, I really like the new design of the JBL Clip 4, but let's go ahead and tear it down. Like always, I'll be using my Husky Precision tool. First off, in order to open the Clip 4, we will need to remove the front grille cover. This cover is glued onto the enclosure, so you have to use a bit of force to pry it open. You also want to be very careful as you can break the dowel that holds the grille onto the speaker. I ended up breaking two of mine, which wasn't a big deal for me. The front cover has three buttons on the top like the JBL Clip 3, but instead the small JBL emblem, it now has a bold JBL logo, which I think gives the speaker more of a style. The enclosure is held down by five screws that we will go ahead and remove. Once the screws are removed, we will gently open the speaker up to avoid damaging any of the connected wires. We will detach the three cables for the driver, the control buttons, and the charging port. Now let's go ahead and remove the driver by taking off these two screws. And here we have the 1.5 inch driver that pushes the max output of up to 5 watts. I'll be doing a sound comparison of the Clip 3 and Clip 4 to see how they compare as the driver look almost identical. Next, let's go ahead and remove these two screws to take off the circuit board for the front buttons. This circuit board contains the play and the volume up and down buttons. Now let's remove the charging port by removing this black cover. This will reveal the charging board, which we can just pull right off. The charging port is upgraded to USB-C instead of the micro USB that's on the Clip 3. This gives you a charge time of 3 hours. To remove the carabiner, you will need to make sure all the back screws are removed from the enclosure. The carabiner consists of two parts, which can easily be taken apart and put together. The carabiner is made of aluminum with the spring loaded portion covered in a nice durable rubber. I really like this new design of the carabiner as it's more comfortable to hold and it makes it easier to clip the speaker into your bags. And here we have the front frame body of the enclosure. It is solid and adorable enough to withstand many drops and impact. Let's go ahead and remove the battery by detaching it from the motherboard. This battery is rated at 1050 milliamp that is said to provide up to 10 hours of listening time. Now let's remove the motherboard by removing four of these screws. This motherboard contributes to the speaker rich audio and punchy bass. One key feature is the upgraded Bluetooth version 5.1, which helps with the data transmission and the range of the speaker. However, it doesn't have a microphone like the Clip 3 does.
Here we have the other half of the enclosure. It contains the passive radiator that is glued onto it. The back also has these rubber strips to help keep the speaker in place while it's being used. It also has an inner cell to help give the speaker its IP67 rating. That's all there is to tearing down the JBL Clip 3. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I will have sound tests coming soon of the JBL Clip 4 in action as they go against other popular Bluetooth speakers. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you soon.